Hi, my name is Raul and today I will be teaching you what logarithms are and I will be teaching you how to solve them. Okay, so before I begin, um, in earlier algebra we've learned simple concepts such as x plus 2 is equal to 5. Okay, we learn how to solve for x by doing the opposite. So we're going to do the opposite of plus 2, which is minus 2. And we're going to get x is equal to 3. Logarithms are based on this fundamental approach. So, before I teach you how to solve for a logarithm, I must teach you what a logarithm is. But I just, I just want you to know that it's based on, on this, on algebra. So, for example, we have 2 to the third power is equal to 8. But what if that 3 was not there? What if we had to find out what it was? Okay, if this 3 was an x, if it was an x, how do we figure it out? Well, easy. It's pure algebra. The only difference is you need to learn the rules of logarithm to solve this problem. And before I even go there, before I even go there, I'm going to teach you how to change a number to logarithmic form. So, for example, <clears throat> if I have 5 squared is equal to 25, Let's change this to logarithmic form. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get our base, which is 5, and you're going to write the log of base 5, okay? And then you're going to write 25, really big here, okay? Is equal to the exponent, which is 2. So, <clears throat> basically, this is what you need to learn how to do. You need to learn how to get a regular exponential problem and convert it to a logarithmic, uh, logarithmic problem before you even solve for two. So I'm going to provide the two more examples <clears throat> back and forth. And then we're going to start solving these things. <clears throat> Another one, for example. The log... Now we're going to go... We're going to go backwards. The log of 8, 512, is equal to 3. Okay? Again, <clears throat> this is your base, right? So we're going to write base, and this is your exponent. So if we're going to write it in exponential form, you're going to get base 8, raise it to the third power and your answer is 512. So this is all we're doing. We're just flipping numbers around. Okay? Once you learn how to do this, then we can learn how to solve it. Suppose I don't give you this, okay? We need to figure it. Uh, we need to figure it out. What you're gonna do is, <clears throat> you're gonna write this. You're gonna say the log of 512 divided by the log of eight. Okay. Now we need a calculator for this. You, you can't do this in your mind, unfortunately. So we get our calculators and we plug in where, where you see the log button, you click on it and you write 512. And then you're going to divide it, so I'm going to put the division sign, by the log of 8. This is how it should look on your graphing calculator. We press the enter button and we get 3 as our answer. So the answer is 3. That is our exponent. Okay? Let's rewrite it again. This is how it's going to look like in exponential form. It's basically 8 
raised to the x power is equal to 512. Okay, we already know that x is 3. So, first step, I give you this problem. That's step number one from here. Step number two, change it to this. And let me erase this. Let me erase this. So, this is step number one. This is what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you 8x is equal to 512. You need to change it. So you write log with base 8 of 512. You need to write this in your calculator and it needs to look like this. This is your third step. It needs to look like this. Log 512 divided by log 8. When you divide this, then you get x, which is your exponent. Now, you're probably wondering, he told me this is like algebra, and in algebra we need to cancel things out, so why haven't I canceled anything out? Well, I'm going to get there. It's the same thing that we've been doing so far. So let's say I give you this. Um, let's try... Five to the x power is equal to 125. Okay? Before I cancel anything out, you need to learn how to flip-flop this problem. Here we have it in exponential form. We're looking for x. Change it to logarithmic form. Your base is 5, so you're going to write log with base 5 of 125 is equal to what we're looking for, which is x. Okay, so we're going from step 1, step 2, and step 3 is when you get, is when you divide the log of 125 by the log of 5. So log 125 divided by log 5, and let's see what it gives us on the calculator. So I'm going to write the log of 5, uh, I'm sorry, the log of 125, and I'm going to divide it by the log of 5. And I get 3 on my calculator. So x is 3. 5 raised to the third power is 125. Now that you have this out of the, uh, out of the way, now that we know how to flip-flop between exponential and logarithmic form, I'm going to start doing some canceling out. And you're going to see it's the same thing. I'm just adding that extra canceling out step. But it's the same thing. So, let's say I have... Let's say I have 6 raised to the x power is equal to 36. Okay, this one's fairly simple. I'm using simple problems, so you can kind of get the logic behind it. Okay, we're looking for an exponent. So, the opposite of exponent is the log. Let's write it down. We're going to say log, and you're going to write down the little 6 in the bottom. Okay, you're going to write that down. The log with base 6 is going to cancel out cancels it out, so you have your x by yourself, right? And then whatever you do here, you, you need to always bring it over to the other side. It's pure algebra. So the log of 6, and then you just write that number there. It stays there. And you know how to solve this already. So you in your calculator, you do the log of 36 divided by the log of 6, which will give you x is equal to... Two. And if you want to check it, then you can just plug it into your original problem. 6 raised to the second power gives you 36. And that is all for logarithms now. Thank you.